Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at this week's Warhammer pre-order preview. And if you like Warcry, you're in for a real treat this week. This week's preview is really good and there's loads of products to go through, including six new products for Warcry, which is awesome. So let's get started. We'll take a look at Warcry first and then work through all the other games. Right, first up is the Tome of Champions 2021. And it was looking like we weren't going to get the copy last year, but it's here. And so although it's a little bit late, I'm really happy to see this and it's going to contain loads of information. I did a video on it when we first heard about it just earlier this week. So it's not been around for that long, the news of this new Tome of Champions. But there's going to be loads going on with this one, as we can expect. And as we saw in the previous two. So this is going to be packed with new fated quests, narrative campaigns, it's got points updates for every Grand Alliance, some new branching quests and a tournament pack as well. And the main thing, and which is the most exciting for me, is that they're going to be introducing rules for all the Warhammer Underworlds characters, so now you can play them in Warcry. So this is brilliant, and I think this is something that really works well with Warcry. The Underworlds characters are awesome to add to your different warbands as special characters, but now they'll have their own unique cards, so you won't have to make any up like I've done for all of them, or proxy some of the other cards for them either. As well as the Tome of Champions, there's going to be five new box sets that you can order for Warcry as well. So these are five warbands, and the models aren't new. You can already get them for Age of Sigmar, but now they're going to be packaged and designed for Warcry, and they include the cards you need to play them in the games as well. So we should see the fighter cards and the ability cards, and that makes a huge difference. I much prefer to have the cards than using the stats from the Grand Alliance books. So this is great news, and the first box is the Thunderstrike Stormcast Eternal. So you're going to get a nice selection there, and I think I'm going to have to do another video, a separate video, that looks at these five warbands and goes into detail about which ones are included and then work out how many points you get for each box and things like that. So I'll do that tomorrow but for now this will just be a brief overview to show you what's coming. For the second box it's the Crawl Boys and so this looks like it could be a good one actually. There's some nice variety in there. Again I'll cover it tomorrow in more detail but really nice to see the Stormcast Eternals and Cruel Boys that we've seen in previous box sets, like the Dominion box set, now released specifically for Warcry with those cards. Next up is Slanesh Sybarites, and this looks like it's got a load of models in there, so quite a lot more than we've seen with the Stormcast Eternals for sure, and we'd expect that with the Stormcast Eternals being much more powerful per model. But yeah, nice lot going on in here, so can't wait to delve into that a bit deeper. Lumineth Realm Lords, this is the one that probably appeals to me the most out of all of these, actually, having already had the Dominion box set. And then Daughters of Cain, this looks like it could be a good one as well. So some nice models in there that I don't have yet. So this is really great news. So this is awesome. Six new products for Warcry. Really happy to see it getting some attention. It's been a while, but this is awesome. But there's loads more games to go through in this preview. So let's take a look at Necromunda next. And this product is a box of terrain and accessories. And it tells us in the article that there's 106 pieces of terrain with accessories in this. And so you've got lots of options to build these multi-layered terrain setups that you can see in the pictures here. So be interesting to see how much this is because it does look packed. There's a lot going on there. And if you can build all three of those setups, that's a nice table full of terrain there for sure. So can't wait to see how much that is. If you've got a good idea, add your guess in the comments section below. I'd love to know what you think. Let's head over to Warhammer 40,000 next, and we're going to get some Tau Ethereals, but these are going to be made to order. So there's going to be four different ones that you can choose, and these are going to be perfect to lead your army into battle. Of the four, this is probably my favourite one. I think this is pretty cool, actually. It looks really good, but these are all only going to be available for nine days, it says in the article. So if you want to get hold of them, they're going to be made to order, and you've got nine days to place your order. It doesn't say how long it's going to take to make them, though. Next is the Aeronautica Imperialis, and it's great to see this game gets quite a lot of attention. And so, yeah, loads of new models have been coming out for this over the past few months. And here we've got the Asayani, and there'll be two models. You've got the Vampire Raider, or you can have the Vampire Hunter. So two options there to add to your collection. 
Now we're on to the Middle Earth strategy battle game and there's going to be a load of made to order models available to order on next Saturday as well. So yeah, there's lots going on here. Some really cool models, old sculpts, I think for most of them, but they look really good. And if you're into this game, then this could be a great way to get hold of some of these if you missed them first time round. It doesn't say how long these are going to be available for, only that it's going to be a return for a limited time. And so, yeah, that's pretty much all we know for that one. So pre-order on Saturday and they're all going to be made to order. Then we've got White Dwarf issue 473 and we're getting really sport for Warcry as there's going to be some new rules in here for battles in Thondia. So that's great. More Warcry to look forward to. Really happy with that. And then lots more going on. Just to note that there's going to be some delays for pre-orders in New Zealand and Australia with this issue. Then there's going to be three key rings available. I think for me, the one on the right, the helmet's the best one out of the three. But let me know which one you like. But there we go, so we've got those, and then also a pin badge, the Stormcast Eternals Shield pin badge too. No Black Library products this week, which is unusual. We usually see loads of books coming out each week, so that just leaves Warhammer Plus, which is going to feature Law Masters, Storm Vaults, and then the Tau Skin Tones in the Citadel Colour Masterclass, and then some more things being added to the Warhammer Vault. So there we go, that's this week's pre-order preview. I'm really happy to see Warcry getting some attention. Six new products, and it's going to be featured in White Dwarf 2. This is just brilliant. Can't wait to get hold of the new Tome of Champions and check out those new rules as well. That's going to be really fun. And then deciding which of these box sets to pick up is going to be pretty cool too. But I'd love to know what you think about this. Anything stand out to you from this selection? And if you're into Warcry, I'd love to hear which is your favourite warband from the five box sets they've put together. Look out for that video where I go through these box sets and work out the points, values and exactly which models are included. I'll do that tomorrow. Um, but for now, thanks so much for watching. Please like if you like it, subscribe for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'd like to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters who make these daily videos possible. And if you're interested in joining the community, it'd be awesome to see you there. And I'll put a link for that in the description down below. <laughs>